Hi guys! Welcome sa NG Nerd Math Channel. Sa video na to ay tuturo ko sa inyo ang derivatives of hyperbolic functions. So kung gusto niyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, so this time ay ituturo ko naman sa inyo ang derivatives ng hyperbolic functions. So, itong hyperbolic functions, parang nakapattern siya sa trigonometric function kasi meron tayong hyperbolic sine, hyperbolic cosine, hyperbolic tangent, and so on. Yung anim na trigonometric function, nilagyan lang ng hyperbolic yung pangalan. So, meron tayong anim na hyperbolic functions na nakapattern sa trigonometric functions, which are ito nga yung sinh x or hyperbolic sine x, tapos cosh x or hyperbolic cosine x, tapos tanh x or hyperbolic tangent x, cosh x or hyperbolic cosecant x, sec x or hyperbolic secant x, at cos x or hyperbolic cotangent x. So, kung di pa kayo familiar sa definition ng hyperbolic functions, it is a combination ng e raised to x saka e raised to negative x na expression. So, ito yung mga definitions nila. So, si sinh x, equal siya sa e raised to x minus e raised to negative x over 2. Si cosh x, equal siya sa e raised to x plus e raised to negative x over 2. And then, yung tanh x, katulad din sa ating trigger, right? Yung tan is equal siya sin x over cos x. So, therefore, yung tanh x, equal din siya sa sinh x over cos x. So, therefore, substitute natin itong definition ng sinh x na e raised to x minus e raised to negative x over 2 sa numerator. Tapos, The definition ng cosh x na e raised to x plus e raised to negative x over 2 sa denominator. Kaya, ito yung representation natin ng tanh x in terms of Euler's number. So, e raised to x minus e raised to negative x over e raised to x plus e raised to negative x. Next, for the cosh x, equal din siya sa reciprocal ni sin x. Just like sa trigonometric right, equal yung cosecant x sa reciprocal ng sin x. So, therefore, cos x x is equal to 1 over sin x equals, so, babalik ka rin lang natin itong sin x. So, kaya naging 2 over e raised to x minus e raised to negative x. Then, yung sex x equal siya sa reciprocal ng cos x. So, equal siya sa 1 over cos x or reciprocal din natin yung equivalent ng cos x na e raised to x plus e raised to negative x over 2. So, naging equal siya sa 2 over e raised to x plus e raised to negative x. Tapos yung cos x, reciprocal siya ng tanh x or cos x over sinh x. So kaya equal siya sa e raised to x plus e raised to negative x over e raised to x minus e raised to negative x. So ibig sabihin kapag nag evaluate tayo ng hyperbolic function, let's say sinh of 2x. Equal yon sa pagsisubstitute natin ng 2x dito sa mga x dito sa equivalent nila sa expression nila in terms of Euler's number. So, equal to sa e raised to 2x minus e raised to negative 2x over 2. Or, pwede natin itong i-input sa calcu o sa solve natin sa calcu yung equivalent nitong sinh of a particular value inside. Okay? So, meron din tayong identity sa hyperbolic functions. So, meron tayo yung parang Pythagorean relations dun sa trigonometric functions natin. Tsaka, meron din tayong parang sum and difference of angle Tsaka yung double angle doon sa trigo din natin. So, we have the identities. Cos squared x minus sin squared x is equal to 1. So, di ba sa trigo plus yan? So, dito sa hyperbolic, cos squared x tayo minus sin squared x equals 1. Okay? Tapos, meron din tayong 1 minus tan squared x equals sec squared x. And then, 1 minus cot squared x equals negative cos, cos sec squared x. Okay? So, nakita nyo yung difference, di ba, sa trigo? Then, meron din tayong sum and difference angle. So, we have sinh x plus minus y is equal to sinh x cos y plus minus cos x sinh y. So, sinh cos cos sin din. Tapos, cos of x plus minus y is equal to cos x cos y plus minus sinh x sinh y. Tapos, tanh x plus minus y is equal to tanh x plus minus tanh y over 1 plus minus tanh x tanh y. So, itong mga identities na ito, na-derive lang kapag sinasitut natin ito dito sa equivalent nila in terms of Euler's number. And, and then, further simplifying lang yung kinalabas ng expression, kaya nakuha natin itong equivalent. 
identities nila. Okay? Then lastly, kapag sa double angle naman, we have sinh 2x is equal to 2 sinh x cos x and cos 2x is equal to cos squared x plus sinh squared x or 2 sinh squared x plus 1 and 2 cos squared x minus 1. Okay, so ito yung mga identities na pwede nating magamit for hyperbolic functions. Okay, so punta na tayo ngayon sa formula ng derivatives ng hyperbolic functions. So ito yung mga formulas natin for the derivatives of hyperbolic function. So we have the derivative of sin u is equal to cos u times du over dx. So itong u, let's say function siya of x, so kaya ginamit natin yung chain rule. So nakamultiply yung derivative initially ng sin u na cos u sa derivative pa ng function of x na u, so kaya times du over dx. So lahat sila ganun dito sa formula. Okay? Then, the derivative of cos u is equal to sin u times du over dx. The derivative of tan u is equal to set squared u times du over dx. The derivative of cos u is equal to negative cos u cos u times du over dx. And the derivative of set u is equal to negative set u tan u times du over dx. And the derivative of cos u is equal to negative cos u times du over dx. So, mapapansin nyo, Almost same lang din sa derivative ng trigo function. Nagkaiba lang yung iba sa sign ng derivatives, right? Okay, so ito yung anim na formula na dapat natin tandaan kapag magdi-derivative tayo ng hyperbolic functions. Okay? So let's try to solve some examples para may illustrate natin yung formula to find the derivatives of hyperbolic functions. Okay? So find the derivatives of the following. One we have y is equal to hyperbolic or cos 1 minus x squared. Okay, so this time, yung u natin dito is yung function of x na 1 minus x squared. So, ang derivative kanina ng hyperbolic cotangent is ito, negative cos h squared u times du over dx. So, therefore, we have y prime is equal to negative cos h squared u. Yung u natin is itong 1 minus x squared times derivative ng u with respect to x, yung u is 1 minus x squared. So, derivative niyan is negative 2x, right? So, therefore, our final answer is unahin ko na to times negative pa, so positive 2x cos h squared 1 minus x squared. So, therefore, this is the final answer. Okay? Next, we have f of x is equal to ln of sinh 5x. Okay, so this time, meron tayong natural logarithm and then yung expression sa loob ng natural logarithm is hyperbolic function na sinh 5x. So, apply natin dito muna yung formula for the derivative ng ln. So, we have f prime of x is equal to, so di ba yung derivative natin sa ln is 1 over u times derivative ng u. Since yung u natin dito is itong sinh 5x, we have 1 over u. So, sinh 5x si u times derivative pa nitong u na sinh 5x chain rule. So, ano yung derivative natin kanina doon sa sinh? We have cos u times du over dx. So, this time, yung u natin sa sinh u is itong 5x. So, chain rule ulit. So, hanapin muna natin yung derivative nitong sinh 5x which is Kanina, cos 5x. Times derivative pa nitong u na 5x is 5. Right? So, therefore, our final answer is 5 times cos 5x over sinh 5x. Or, meron tayong identity for cos over sinh, right? Ano yun? Cos, hyperbolic cotangent. So, therefore, we have 5 times hyperbolic cotangent or cot 5x. So, therefore, this is the final answer. Okay? Next, we have y is equal to inverse sine of hyperbolic tangent or tanch x squared. Okay, so this time, meron tayong inverse sine. Tapos, parang ito yung yun natin, yung tanch x squared. So, apply natin yung formula for the derivative of inverse sine. So, diba equal yun sa 1 over square root of 1 minus u squared times du over dx. 
So, therefore, we have 1 over square root of, so we have 1 minus u squared. So, yung yun natin is itong tanj x squared. So, we have tanj x squared squared, right? Times derivative pa nitong yun natin mismo na yung tanj x squared. So, ano ba yung derivative natin kanina for tanj? Ito right, yung set squared u times du over dx. Tapos, yung u natin para doon sa tanj is itong x squared. So, chain rule ulit. So, therefore, we have set squared muna u, which is itong x squared, times derivative pa nitong u niya na x squared is 2x. Okay? So, meron tayong identity dito eh. Kanina, 1 minus tan squared x is equal to set squared x. So, pag in-square root natin both sides, set x equals siya sa square root of 1 minus tan squared x. So, therefore, dito sa example natin, equal to sa 1 over set x squared. Right? Times set squared x squared times 2x. So, makakansel natin itong set x squared sa denominator sa so magiging set x squared na lang tayo times 2x. Or unahin ko na tong 2x then times set x squared. So, therefore, this is the final answer. Okay? Next, we have f of x is equal to cos x squared e raised to 2x. So, parang equal to sa cos x e raised to 2x raised to second power. So, parang chain rule muna for the power formula. So, we have f prime of x is equal to sa baba si 2 times yung inside function na cos h e raised to 2x. Then, yung 2, babawasan natin ng 1, magiging 2 minus 1 or 1 or kahit hindi ko na isulat. Times derivative ng inside function natin na itong cos h e raised to 2x na. So, kanina, anong derivative ng cos h? Negative cos h u cos u times du over dx. This time, yung u natin is itong e raised to 2x. So, multiply natin sa derivative niya na kanina, ano yun? Negative cos h u. So, e raised to 2x times cos u e raised to 2x times derivative ng u with respect to x. So, anong derivative ng e raised to 2x? e raised to 2x times derivative ng exponent. Remember yung derivative ng exponential function with base e, right? Chain rule times derivative ng 2x is 2. Okay? So, therefore, ang pinaka-final answer natin is, so, inayin ko na lang to ha, yung e raised to 2x times 2, times pa natin dito, tapos meron pang negative, sa so magiging negative 4 e raised to 2x, and then combine natin to, same base, sa so magiging cos h squared na siya, e raised to 2x times cot e raised to 2x. So, therefore, this is the final answer. Okay? Next, we have y is equal to e raised to set x times cos x. So, this time, meron tayong product of two functions. So, let's say f of x itong e raised to set x tapos g of x itong cos x. So, apply natin yung product rule for derivatives. So, y prime is equal to, let's say, copy ko muna itong f of x na e raised to set x times derivative natin itong g of x na cos x. So, kanina, anong derivative ni cos x? Since u times du over dx. So, therefore, we have since x lang. Kasi x lang naman yung u natin. So, times since x plus this time copy ko naman si g of x na cos x times derivative nitong f of x na e raised to set x. So, meron tayong exponential with base e, right? So, anong derivative niya? Kopya lang na e raised to u so parang e raised to set x. Yung u natin is set x times derivative pa nung u na set x. So, anong derivative ng set x kanina or set u? Negative set u tans u times du over dx. So, parang negative set x lang times tans x lang. Kasi yung yun natin is simple x lang. Okay? So, therefore, 
Simplifying further, we have e raised to sech x sinh x plus so diba itong cosh x saka times negative sech x equal yan saan? 1, right? Reciprocal identity. So, parang meron tayong minus pala to e raised to sech x times tanh x na lang. Okay? So, therefore, this is the final answer. Okay? Okay, so I think that's it for this video, derivatives of hyperbolic functions. So, practice lang kayo mag-solve ng derivatives ng hyperbolic function as well as huwag nyo rin kakalimutan yung definition ng bawat hyperbolic functions natin in terms of Euler's number base E tsaka yung different identities. Okay, so sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panonood.